humans, I'm Mr. King. Stoichiometry chapter. Right, first, what is the definition of moles? Moles, it means mass in grams, which contains Avogadro's constant of 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. So, there are three formulas in terms of numbers of moles that you need to remember. First, in terms of mass, with the formulas of numbers of mole equals mass over relative molecular mass. Okay, M stands for mass with the units of grams. Okay, and M it is also stated as maximum yield or maximum mass. Yeah, okay, whereas MR so-called relative molecular mass or molar mass. Okay, it is also referred as mass of one mole. Okay, next in terms of volume. Okay. This formula it is only applicable for volumes of gas. Okay, only for gas. Okay, with the formulas of number of moles equals volume over 24 dm cube. Okay, 24 dm cube it is the constant. It is always 24 dm cube. Okay, whereas for volume, okay, the unit for volume it must be in dm cube. And most of the time in the exam, okay, question given to you, okay, the volume it is often in CMQ. From CMQ to DMQ, it is always divided by 1000. Right, next, concentration, okay, for solution, which means this formula it is only applicable for solution. With the formulas of concentration times volume, okay, C stands for concentration of so-called molarity, with the units of mole per DMQ. V stands for volume with a unit of dm cube. That's all for this three. Okay, next, percentage U. The formula for percentage U is actual mass divided by calculator mass times 100%. Remember, actual mass means the mass you obtain in reality when you carry out the experiment. And calculator mass, okay, it is also the mass from the formula N equals to M over MR, which is the M, yeah, the maximum U. Right, next, limiting reagent and excess. So what are the definition of these two terms? Okay, remember, limiting reagent means substance that is totally consumed during the reaction. Excess means more than enough to react. Yeah, then molecular formula and empirical formula. Definition, important. Okay, molecular formula means actual numbers of atoms of elements in a compound. Empirical formula shows the simplest whole number ratios of atoms of elements in a compound. So, how to look for the empirical formula? Very easy, okay? Simple three steps. Right, see example here, 1.69 grams of iron is bonded with 0.72 grams of oxygen, producing iron oxide. Look for the empirical formula. So, from here you know that elements are iron and oxygen. Then, what are the three information you need? First, mass. Yeah, or percentage. This is the information that is given to you in the questions. Then look for the moles and the formula to use it is always numbers of moles equals M over MR. And lastly, look for the ratio. Right, see an example here. 1.69 grams of FEN 0.72 grams of O. Then followed by looking for the moles, can okay, divide with DMR. Yeah, 1.69 divided by 56 for oxygen 0.72 divided by 16. Yeah, you get a moles. Then how to look for the ratio from the moles. Okay, always compare the numbers of moles that you obtain and pick the smallest value. So in this case, 0.03 is the smaller value. Therefore, both the moles divide by 0.03 to get the ratio. See ratio 1 to 1.5. One more thing, okay? do not simply round off the value. Yeah, you cannot just round off the value like this. So in order to convert the decimal into whole number, okay, always start from multiplying with the smallest number. Okay, start multiplying with 2, 3, 4, and so on until you are able to get a whole number. So in this case, how to convert 1.5 into a whole number? Okay, we can multiply with 2. Therefore, both the ratio multiply with 2. So you get 2 and 3. Therefore, the final answer is Fe2O3. Alright, see. Sub, sub, sui la. Alright, look at this question given. In a titration, blah, 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 blah. So, first one. What was the color of metal orange in aqueous sodium hydroxide? See, remember, sodium hydroxide is an alkaline. So, in alkaline, it is... 
yellow in color. Okay, next, calculate the numbers of moles of sodium hydroxide. So, we are asked to look for the moles of sodium hydroxide. Remember, okay, first thing to do always look for the information given. So, what are the information given about sodium hydroxide? Okay, you see, 25 cm cube and 0 0.2 mole per dm cube. Okay, we are given with volume and concentration. Therefore, formula to use, number almost equals concentration times volume. So, concentration 0 0.2, remember you see, Volume given to you here is in cmq, therefore you have to convert it into dmq first. And so eventually answer 0 0.005 mole. Very easy. Okay, next, calculate the numbers of moles of sulfuric acid added into the burette. So you see, moles of sulfuric acid. So in this case, you have to refer to the chemical equation given to you. Remember, okay, you can always compare the moles, okay, by comparing to the ratio, ratio so called the numbers that you use to balance the equation. All right, look at the chemical equation. The ratio between sodium hydroxide and sulfur acid is 2 to 1. Yeah, and we know that the moles of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.005 mole. Okay, ratio 2 to 1, therefore the moles of sulfur acid equals 0 0.005 mole divided by 2, yeah, which is 0 0.0025. That's the answer. Okay, very easy. Okay, you can just compare the ratio. Okay, next, what is the concentration of sulfuric acid? Okay, concentration with the formula N equals to CV. Number of moles, we know it is 0 0.0025. Concentration, we do know volume. You see, based on the question given, the volumes of sulfuric acid is 0 0.002. So eventually, the answer 0 0.125 mole per dm cube. Okay, next, the concentration of sulfur acid in grams per dm cube. So, okay, one thing to take note, you see, okay, concentration, the unit can be mole per dm cube or grams per dm cube. To convert from mole per dm cube to gram per dm cube, we can multiply with the relative molecular mass, same thing. To convert grams per dm cube back to mole per dm cube, okay, it can be divided by the molar mass, okay, so called the relative molecular mass. So, in this case, okay, we wanted to get a concentration in grams per dm cube. Okay? Therefore, 0 0.125 mole per dm cube multiplied with the molar mass of sulfuric acid, as stated here. Okay? Very easy. Okay? Next, then look for the percentage U. And we know that the formula of percentage U equals actual mass divided by calculated mass times 100%. And in this case, 4.8 grams is the actual mass. So now we have to use the information given to us to look for the calculator mass. So first, look for the moles of FeSO4. Then you get 0 0.1 mole. Then compare ratio 2 to 1. The moles of Fe2O3 it is 0 0.05 mole. Then look for the mass, yeah, which is the calculator mass. And it is 8 grams. So apply into the formula, so answer 4.8 grams divided by 8 times 100%, so eventually the answer is 60%. Okay, next, empirical formula, so you give with CHO, remember first, look for the percentage, then followed by moles and lastly ratio. Okay, so this is how I get it. Alright, can you see how to look for the relative molecular formula from empirical formula? You see, given to you here, empirical formula is C2H4O, whereas the molecular mass is 88. So we need to know, okay, what is the molecular formula okay, of the compound with the mass of 88? And okay, we need to look for the factors. So C2H4O, you have to convert it into the molecular mass. Here you see 1 carbon equals to 12, hydrogen 1, O16. Therefore, the total mass of C2H4O is 44. It will obtain N equals to 2, which means the factors is 2. We have to times the 2 into the empirical formula. Okay, therefore, the molecular formula is C4H8O2. That's it. Very easy, isn't it? Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.